the special data optimized carrier and then you could do high speed data communications. In the 1X camp, that was called 1X EVDO, 1X Evolution Data Optimized. In the UMTS camp, that was called HSPA, High Speed Packet Access. And they trotted out numbers about how they were doing this number of bits per second today, and they'd be doing 70 megabits per second tomorrow over here, and they'd be doing 160 over there. Now, while all of this was going on, the carriers and service providers in the 1x camp were at a disadvantage because there were so many more people in the gsm tdma for second generation umts for third generation camp that handset manufacturers made handsets for that camp first and they were cheaper because of the volume so the playing field was tilted like this. And then Steve Jobs came up with the iPhone, which is the world's most popular consumer device, and he only gave it to people in the GSM UMTS camp. And that tilted the playing field like this. All of a sudden, the carriers that were in the 1X camp were not able to offer to their customers the world's most popular consumer device. And so what happened was basically these carriers, and this would be Verizon and Sprint in the US and Bell and Telus in Canada, they threw in the towel and said, okay, we give up. We're gonna go with the Europeans version of fourth generation. And as soon as they did that, they stopped deploying the 1X EVDO optimized data carrier plan and did the other camp's data optimized plan, which is called HSPA. And as soon as they finished building an HSPA network, Steve let them have the iPhone. So anybody from the United States watching this, you might remember the iPhone was only available on AT&T to start with. And in Canada, it was Rogers because they were in the TDMA camp. And then as soon as their competitors built an HSPA network, then all of a sudden you could get the iPhone on Verizon and Sprint and Bell and Telus. So one of the legacies of Steve Jobs is not only inventing the iPad and the iPod and the iPhone, but it's also ending the standards war for cellular.